Hello everyone and welcome to this very basic Photoshop tutorial. Now I've had uh, quite a lot of nice comments uh, on Instagram and YouTube as well. People saying they like my uh, tutorials and they like the style that how I'm delivering them. And with this one, okay, it's just going to be a nice, simple uh, Photoshop tutorial introducing you to layer masks and adjustment layers. Nothing too crazy and how we uh, stack up layers to make uh, certain things look certain ways and a couple of little tricks along the way as well. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. Now, first thing I'm going to do is press Command N for a new document. And that's just going to pop up there. It's just loading. So 1500 by 1500 pixels, width and height, 300 uh, pixels per inch resolution, RGB color, 8-bit, white background, and click Create. Now, uh, just had a few uh, little technical glitches. And the color that I'm using here, okay, is Delta 05454. Okay, and it's a salmon color. Now, when I was uh, making this uh, this edit, when I when I first made it, okay, I used a bit of a richer color, and it's the one I've uploaded to my Instagram uh, account. However, as I've uh, made a video and uploaded it to YouTube, okay, it's coming it's coming across as very deep, rich red. So. Uh, for this tutorial, this is the colour I'm going to use. However, uh, the one that I used on my Instagram, depending on your settings, was E84444. And it was this colour here. Okay, and you can see it's uh, it's quite quite deeper and quite deeper red. Okay, so it's entirely up to you which colour you'd like to use. E84444. Have a little play, have a little click around uh, just on this part of the uh, colour picker. Okay, and choose what you might like. But for this tutorial, and just so you can see the image on the screen, how I'd like it with like a salmon background, I'm just using Delta 05454, or maybe Delta Oscar, I'm not sure. But nevertheless, I'm going to click OK. So when I've got my colour selected on my palette there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Command and Backspace. So now on my screen, this is a nice salmon colour, and uh, I've tried to marry it up with the setting, so hopefully uh, it looks OK on the tutorial. And the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, once I've uh, done that colour, okay, I'm just going to get rid of that little lock there, drop it onto the trash can. I'm going to go to Photoshop, I'm going to go to my latest tutorials, okay, and then I've got my files here. I'm going to put these in the link down uh, down below. As you can see, I've got these uh, renders from 40renders.com, I'll just link to the Arsenal renders, otherwise the, uh, the feed underneath will just be uh, clogged full of uh, links, so I'm just going to keep it simple. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in Michael Arteta. Now, notice you've got the constraints tool uh, that's around. Okay, if you click off that by accident, okay. If you, uh, sorry, if you put it in place, okay. What I can do is I can press Command T, okay, and I uh, hit the constraint tool, okay. And see these little arrows pop up here in the bottom right corner. If I hold Shift, okay, just going to grow up and down without the uh, proportions being changed. If I hold Shift and Alt as well. Okay, he'll grow. Uh, he'll grow in and out. So I'm just going to place him somewhere around there. Now what you can do is hit enter. You can get some uh, rulers uh, that are lined up here. Okay, if you can't see them, hit window. Hit the window at the top. Go down and to your tools. You should see ruler somewhere. Do, 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 do. Where are you? They don't seem to be there. Okay, they may just be on there already then. Yeah, they may be, uh, may be on there already. Might used to be on older versions, be able to take that off, so I'm not sure. But if you hold down on the ruler and drop down, okay, they'll, uh, they should uh, click into place, okay, and you've got these lines here. Th then you can line up your images. Anyway, I'm going to press Command H to get rid of them because I don't need them. So press Command T again, Michael Arteta, okay, and I'm just going to drop him in there. Okay, next one I'm going to bring in, I'm going to bring in. Um, Bring in Nicholas Pepe. Okay, I'm going to drop him in there. Again, Shift and Alt, and because he's facing left, okay, I'm just going to put him over on the left. So what I'm going to do now is, once I've uh, played around with the Constraints tool, okay, and I've uh, placed all my images, I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've uh, I've placed my players down. Okay, if you noticed, I've got uh, Mikel Arteta. I've got him at the back. Okay, and then just think if you imagine this on the side, but then I've got Nicholas Pepe in front of him. Then I've got Bamiyang uh, in front of Arteta as well. Okay. Then I've got Lacazette. Then I've put Ozil 
on top there. And then finally, Hector Bellerin at the front. So as you can see, Aubameyang is underneath Hector Bellerin, therefore he's behind him on the image. Okay, next thing we're going to do is, okay, I'm going to introduce you to uh, layer mask. So I'm going to start with Hector Bellerin, and I'm going to click this little icon down here. It brings up a vector mask, this little table, this little palette, or this little window here. Got black and white selected on my palette there. I'm going to right click or double click because I've got a Mac. Sorry, I'm going to hit the brush tool, sorry. Hit the B for the brush tool. Okay, I'm going to double click or right click. I'm going to hit a soft brush. I'm going to drop my flow down to around 14%. Now with the black selected, I'm going to now get rid of these pixels, but non-destructively. So as I paint away, okay, I'm going to use my brackets tools to make them bigger and smaller. Okay, you'll notice if I disable this layer mask up here, okay, these pixels still come back. So this means we're working non-destructively. Enable layer mask. Hit X on my keyboard so the white is now at the forefront. Okay, you can just paint back on what you want to bring back. Same again for Mesut Ozil. I'm going to select the layer mask. Make sure this little window is selected. Hit X, make sure black selected there. Or you can just hit that little icon to swap them around. Okay, I'm just going to paint away parts of Mesut Ozil that I don't want. Hit X if I've taken a little bit too much. Yep, yeah, that's not too bad. Same for Lacazette. Layer mask. Black's already selected. I'm going to paint away. So I'll speed this up and I'll get back to you. I'm, uh, I'm happy how this is looking here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my bottom layer. Okay, this uh, salmon color. Okay, I'm going to create a new layer. Okay, I've got white selected over here. Hit B for my brush tool on my keyboard. Nice soft brush again. Okay, I'm going to increase the flow to around 30. Okay, use my bracket keys to make it grow. Okay, and I'm just going to paint on a little bit of white here. So we've got a glow behind the players. Nothing, uh, nothing too radical. So I hope this is coming across well on the screen. Obviously, as you follow along, okay, depending on your settings, it may be a little bit different, but yeah, it's looking good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some noise, so I'm going to create this into a smart object. Now, creating into a smart object or converting it to a smart object, in layman's terms, basically means go back and edit it. I'm going to go to Filter. I'm going to go to Noise. I'm going to add noise, and I'm going to select 16%. This little preview window here, you might not be able to see, but you can see the difference it's making on the image. Make sure you've got Gaussian selected and monochromatic. I'm going to click OK. Now if I zoom in, you can see that I've added some noise to the white. If I just get rid of that, you can see the difference it's made. It's just to give a little bit of texture. Press Command 0. Now I want the same again, but over the front, so what I'm going to do is you can either press Command J or Control J, or you can just drag onto a new layer icon there, and it creates a new layer. This layer, this new layer, this white layer, I'm going to drag to the top. So, obviously it doesn't look very good. I'm going to go to Layer Mask again. Hit B from Brush Tool. This time, I'm going to increase the flow up to 100. And I'm just going to paint away. And then, I'm taking the top bit off. And then as I get down below, I'm just going to leave the bottom bit on. Now, if you want to see what a uh, bit more clearer what you have and haven't painted on there, make sure this window is selected. Hold Alt down on your keyboard, click it, and then it'll show there like the black bob. And then you can see what you've got left. And if I zoom in a little bit, you can see I've put some noise just above the players. Um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to lower my lower the fraction, reduce the flow. I'm just going to paint away a little bit more. There we go. I'm happy with that. Uh, it's looking fantastic. So, I'm going to select Hector Bellerin. I'm going to group the players now. 
I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to select Michael Arteta at the bottom there. You see they're all highlighted. I'm now going to press Command G. I'm going to rename this group Players. And I'm going to add some adjustment layers. So I'm going to go down to this icon at the bottom. I'm going to select it. I'm going to go to Saturation. Now before I start editing it, I only want the saturation to affect the players. So I'm going to create a clipping mask. So I'm going to hold Alt. Hover between the two layers and this symbol appears and I'm going to click it. Now, all the adjustments I make will only affect the players group or the layer directly underneath. So I'm just going to increase that saturation up to around 10. And if you notice, the uh, players kit, the Arsenal kit, which I've got to add at this stage as well, is probably the nicest uh, Premier League kit that's been for uh, quite a while. I'm not an Arsenal fan, but it's a fantastic kit. Anyway, digress. Okay, uh, we've now increased our saturation. So the kit is looking better than what it usually does. So I'm going to go down to the adjustment layers again. And this time I'm going to go to color balance. Now, instead of holding Alt and hovering like that, I'm just going to right click. And I'm going to go down to create clipping mask. There you go. Um, clipped, clipped onto the players layer. Okay, the red. I'm just going to increase to 6. Now I've got it on the mid-tones. And the yellows, minus 3. And we can play with the highlights as well. See what that looks like. Go to 5. Drop it down to 6. Okay, and this little eye icon here, if you click that, you can see the difference it's made. If I wanted to completely reset it, okay, you could just click this little icon just here. But I don't want to do that. Next, I'm going to go back down to the adjustments. I'm going to go to Photo Filter. Okay, rather than click on the filter, I'm going to click on the colour. I'm going to choose the orange colour, EC8 Alpha 00. Okay, and again, create a clipping mask. And I think I had this up around 50%. Just to give the players a little bit more warmth. Uh, so yeah, looking fantastic. Last thing I want to do is I want to drop in the logo, the uh, the old traditional logo. My computer loads very slow. Shift and Alt, okay. I want it quite small. Drop it down the bottom. Shift and Alt again. If you notice, it's red, and on my uh, previous image, I had it as white. What we do for that? Call that one logo. New layer on top, clip it by holding Alt, OK. Still got the brush selected. If you've not got the brush selected, press B. Bring your flow up to 100. OK, I'm going to use a hard brush. Now, if you notice, I'm painting on this layer. Like I said, it's only going to affect the layer underneath. So the logo is what I've clipped it to. So the moment I go across the logo, like so, you'll see how it's only affecting it just there. There's a good example of a clipping mask. I'm just going to hit V for my move tool on the logo. I'm just going to drop it slightly. And there we go. There is our, our edit uh, ready for Instagram. Uh, like I said, I did have a few teething problems with the colour of the background. It was a, a rich red and it wasn't uh, being portrayed very good on the screen. It looked very pixelated and uh, bubbly. So I hope it looks a lot better now. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do a, a basic Photoshop tutorial, try to keep it short. Uh, again, a lot of nice comments on Instagram. If you like this image, please consider hitting like. And if you like my content, if you've watched a few of the videos, please consider subscribing and let my channel grow. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you've got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below and uh, I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks a lot and thanks for watching.